Jasmine from New Orleans, Louisiana. Los Angeles, California. Bozeman, Montana. Fort Worth, Texas. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Denver, Colorado. I definitely feel less of a cancer patient here because everyone here is just like me. I'm from New York City. Lily, Mississippi. Minnetonka, Minnesota. We've all had something terrible enter our lives, but no one looks at you any different and we're all the same. I'm from Lansing, Michigan, and camp is awesome. In everyday life, you go to the store, you go anywhere, and you're in your wheelchair, or you have your knee brace, or you have no hair. People, they stare at you. But here, nobody thinks twice about it. I mean, it's just another friend. I got so many compliments on my fake hair that I did on my real hair, and they're like, your hair looks so good. Where do you get it done? And I'm like, it's really easy to relate to people here at camp, because even though everyone has different types of cancers here, Everybody still can relate to the fatigue, to being tired, to forgetting things. It did more than make me tired physically. It made me tired mentally. You make friends right away because everybody here has had cancer and they understand. And whether they were diagnosed when they were two months old or 20 years old, they all know what it's like to hear the words, you have cancer. At the age of 16, I was diagnosed with a glioblastoma brain tumor. I was diagnosed at 10 months old with rhabdomyosarcoma. AML leukemia. Medioblastoma. Dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. Multiple myeloma bone cancer. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I was diagnosed with neuroblastoma. Chronic myelogenous leukemia. Burkitt's lymphoma at the stomach. Optic glioma brain tumor. Stage four triple negative breast cancer. I was diagnosed with AML, acute myeloid leukemia. It's a blood cancer. Welcome to Can't Make a Dream! I'm Emerson. And I'm Judy. And we're gonna show you our favorite places. Yeah. I think if you were just recently diagnosed with a brain tumor or cancer, I mean, you should definitely consider coming here. If you need chemo, then you can get it here. Just because you can connect with people who have shared common ground with you. This is the art bar. I made this coffee mug for my mom. I just made this bluebird for my mom because she loves birds. It's really, really important to talk about your emotions and what you've been through. Every time I go to Denver for checkups, I get an angel and put it on his ear. I really think I found my strength through my friends that I've made here and just especially within myself. I feel like I'm such a stronger, more confident person. So this is the zip line. It's really fun. It's fast. I mean, I pulled this strength out that I didn't even know I had. Woo! It's really important come here and experience everyone else's strength, but especially to experience my own strength. So let's go to mini golf. Yeah. Dang it. This is not working out very well. <laughs> you know what? There. <laughs> A hole in ten. I guess the thing I like most about camp is uh, meeting everybody and feeling like you belong and we all have like these cabin chats and fireside chats and we get to know each other like on a deep personal level and it's really cool. Everybody's so friendly, like it's hard to not make friends. You'd have to try not to make friends. Along the way, you're having fun and meeting so many great people and you make some friendships that stick for life. I think of this camp as my family. It's so much fun and there's so many things to do. It's just endless fun. <laughs> Makes me feel like I just can't wait to get out of bed the next morning and be able to do it all over again. Big reach. <laughs> there's a lot of things at camp that kind of push you out of your comfort zone. You can do it. You're almost all the way there. But like the hike in the butte that I was just like, wow, I did it. That hike for me was very symbolic because I feel like I was overcoming cancer by doing that, you know? It felt great just looking back and seeing I came all the way from there, you know, for the great feeling. By going to the top of the hill and getting that victory pose, it was awesome. It was awesome. 
You know, it's not every day that people hike up a mountain. It's not every day that you get to go on a zip line and just be hanging in the air. Once you feel that confidence, you can go back home and be a little less afraid of being who you are in front of people and be a little less afraid of trying things for the first time or doing things differently. <laughs> Camp Make a Dream is just a really magical place. The connections that you make here are something that you can't just find when we go back home away from camp. Every morning I pick up a comb or a brush and I'd be like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> like I don't have to worry about that anymore. The driver pulls. The week of camp is coming up. We're always emailing each other and saying, oh, you know, you should really bring this or don't forget that. And um, we give each other little countdowns, like 10 more days now. <laughs> It's not a stretch at all to say that camp is part of the cure. And knowing that there's so many people who are in it with you and who know what it's like and who are there to encourage you. We're just normal, average people. We just happen to have gotten sick. I think that that's extremely important here at camp, the fact that everyone can come here and feel normal and that's all we really want. Yesterday at the Halloween party, we won the costume contest. We were a rap duo. I was Flava Flav. And, and I was Eminem. Yeah. But I didn't dress up as the rapper Eminem. I dressed up as an, a blue Eminem. Blue Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> I had to walk with my arms in the whole time. We were, we were looking good. Yeah. We were good. <laughs> yeah. What? What, what was that? that? Sorry. We're going to wrap this up. So thanks for visiting Can't Make a Dream. You guys were a beautiful audience. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You were a beautiful audience. Okay, bye. bye.